Brennan was seven and a half months and we gave him a new food and that was yogurt. And he quickly had reaction. He, um, is, he started chewing on his hands, his face turned red, he started itching his eyes vigorously, and then his face started swelling. We knew something was wrong. We took him to the doctor, and that day we had just a general blood test done, and it took about two weeks for the results to come back, and the doctor called me and said, yes, he is in fact allergic to dairy, he's also allergic to eggs, and he's allergic to peanuts. And she told me the peanut was the highest number that came back on that blood test. Dr. O'Connor is our allergist for Brennan, and we were going to do a food challenge for him, and she told us about a new test that was available, the peanut component test. She told us that it would give us more information for him, let us know if the part of the peanut that he is allergic to was more or less likely to cause a severe reaction. Component testing actually looks at specific protein components of the peanut, some of which, if you make antibody against them, put you at a higher risk of having a systemic reaction. We love peanut butter, so that was hard because we had to make sure we would wash our hands or wipe our face or wipe every countertop to make sure there wasn't any transfer by accident to, for him to get any, any of that on him or we, we didn't kiss him and, and transfer any of that. So that was... You know, it was just, you think about things in a whole different way when you, when you know, and, and luckily you do know. There's also those patients that have a mild reaction to peanut due to cross-reaction with a pollen. They may just have a little itching in their mouth. They may just feel a little funny in their stomach after they eat peanut. They have a positive skin test. They have a positive blood test. They're told, avoid peanut at all costs. They've had a mild reaction. Are they at risk for anaphylaxis? I don't know. So those are the patients where I would order uh, peanut component testing. Maybe they are at risk and then I can say, yeah, that stomach ache might turn into anaphylaxis or that itching in your mouth, you may go on to have a bad reaction or maybe not. And then I can do an oral challenge and say, you don't need to worry about it. Taking that worry away from patients. Patients who have had a negative peanut component test who pass an oral challenge after that, they are so happy. They're so happy. They're free. It's liberating. Because of this test, we found that he is not allergic to peanuts. We still have to take precaution for his other food allergies, but it is wonderful to have peace of mind in regard to at least one of them. I encourage patients who have a suspected peanut allergy in themselves or in their child to go online and find a doctor who's ordering the peanut component testing. It can help clarify the situation for them, whether they need to continue to avoid peanut, whether they may qualify for an oral challenge, and maybe they can have peanuts in their diet. You know, I'm a big believer that patients who get educated are empowered, and the more empowered patients are, the better we can take care of them and the better they take care of themselves. What we have learned through this whole process is that the first test that we took was just a generalized test, and the peanut component test is a much more defined test just specific to the peanut and gives you so much more information on that allergy. I suggest peanut component testing in patients who have a positive peanut test and who may have either never had peanut exposure in their life before or who may have had a mild reaction to peanuts, something like maybe just itching of the mouth. I do not worry about Brennan having peanuts now. We have peanut butter and jelly almost every day. It's a great food. It's good protein for him. He likes it. He loves eating peanuts. I don't have to worry, that's a great feeling. To find out more information about peanut allergy testing, go to youknowpeanut.com. <laughs>